Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 4 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are integrating the admin panel in Laravel. Okay, so we are integrating that uh, admin LTE template and in the last few videos that we have seen that we have created all the files that we require. Okay, layout.blade, dashboard, header, footer, sidebar. Okay, so now uh, we are going to crack the paths and we are also going to set uh, the asset and URL okay and but before that we are also going to create uh, the route as well okay like i have shown you that uh, you can go uh, under the video description and then you can able to follow all the instructions i have given in the video, uh, video description as well side by side you can watch the videos and able to uh, copy the content okay uh, see now uh, under layout.play.php file we are going to crack this path here okay you can see uh, the path is uh, we need to give here the proper path like here url will come uh, then uh, admin okay it it will come under admin then plugins okay and then we need to end it like this okay so uh, this is the plugins folder so that's why uh, it is located inside our public folder you can simply check here inside public and after that inside admin so it is located inside our admin then plugins uh, okay uh, and after plugins all the fonts and everything uh, whatever the part of the admin LT template okay are located there so uh, same thing we are going to do with this one as well and we are going to close it here as well like this okay and as far as the CSS is concerned so we need to set the path for the CSS as well okay so here uh, we need to check where it is it's under uh, public admin then CSS okay public admin then CSS and uh, we will also use URL here and then uh, first uh, admin public admin and after that CSS will come here this one it will not come it will be like this admin CSS and then and we are going to end it like this okay so like this we are going to crack the path for all the css js okay images as well okay so same thing we are going to add here images and here uh, so it is instead of img it is images okay and we are going to end this as well like this okay fine and uh, so here same here okay so uh, what i'm going to do here now i'm going to select all at once and uh, see okay uh, so this part i'm going to select like this okay so now i'm going to add here uh, here it will come uh, admin first url then admin then plugins okay so here as well with all i'm going to add here at last i'm going to add it like this and here the js path will come up okay so i'm going to copy this one we'll paste here and under admin js it is fine okay and here also we are going to add it like this admin js okay so i think all are done so uh now i will also update in dashboard.bay.php file like this if there are any uh files but first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to create the controller okay uh i'm going to control uh, create the controller and and create the route as well so that we can able to see uh, where is uh, able to see the home page the dashboard page at least okay then we will correct one by one okay so let's create here uh, we are going to create the route and first of all we will create the controller as well admin controller we are going to create and that we are going to create uh, inside i'm going to close the all the files okay here see project 10 i'm going to create under the admin folder so we are going to add the admin folder see we have the admin folder under sources under public and now we are going to create under app http controllers okay and under controllers as well we will have the admin controller and this time we are going to make with caps first delete caps okay 
so under admin we are going to create the admin controller okay so here php artisan make controller and we are going to create this controller under admin like this admin then admin controller okay so now we are going to check admin controller while it has been created and now we are going to create the route here after this we are going to create the route and uh, we will create here the get post route we will create the get route okay uh, so route we will create a route get route for the dashboard okay so and here uh, we are going to create the dashboard control uh, that dashboard function under admin controller we will create the dashboard function okay uh, but this will not work like this so this we are uh, going to create the route group and we will also add the complete namespace complete path of where this controller exists okay so all the admin routes we are going to inside the admin group all the front routes we are going to create inside the front group Uh, so we are going to add this in a uh, group. Okay, so what I'm going to do I'm going to do here. I'm going to add here route prefix See we are going to prefix uh, admin in front of every route. Okay, so like uh, this route will be like admin slash dashboard Okay, so this we are going to prefix like we have done in all earlier series as well Okay, every time we have done this thing and namespace namespace in which the complete path uh, so uh, the complete path will come where the admin controller exists okay so we are going to check its path here okay so uh, it's exist in this path i'm going to copy its path name and will paste this one okay so uh, see that much will not come and uh, here it will start from the app and here uh, we will make it in caps okay I just want to show you and we need to update the slashes here just want to show you that we have just required to add the path here of admin of uh, admin controller okay that is located inside the admin folder that we have created earlier okay so now uh, here we are going to add here the group group function we're going to do it like this and okay so inside this we are going to create this dashboard file like this okay so now uh, we are going to create this uh, dashboard function inside admin controller here we are going to create this function public function dashboard and here uh, we have the dashboard file inside the admin okay admin dot dashboard it will come up like this okay so now uh, we are going to run and check uh, the dashboard here admin dashboard admin slash dashboard let's see if it is working or not yes it is working uh, but inside dashboard dashboard must uh, contain the admin design uh, that we need to add uh, okay we need to add this content under the admin design okay so for that uh, what we are required to do we are required to uh, so we are going to add here extends admin layouts and uh, the blade file that is located inside the layout folder layout.blade.php okay so it will come up like this and after that uh, we will add here the section this is the syntax that we need to add with every blade file and we need to include the content inside this okay and section or we can use this at the top stop as well okay so now uh, it must work fine we are going to see we are going to refresh and some issue has come uh, we are going to see uh some yeah okay so here is the issue 
here it will come up like content okay now it will work fine and we're going to see uh, it's working okay you can see uh, it's working fine here okay layout has come up here uh, but some of the images are still not coming because we have not updated the path of all the images okay so we are going to update like in dashboard we are going to check whether all the uh, path are fine uh, we can search img uh, here it is, seems to be fine and here also uh, img here we can uh, correct the path here here we can select all and we can simply remove and we can give here the asset admin images okay and this one we can select for all we can do it like this and now we can check here uh, now better than the last one and here more uh, we need to modify and here logo also we need to modify and uh, we can uh, do one thing also we can inspect in console we can do it uh, here we can do it like this and we can check in console see uh, these files uh, pass are not correct so far so we are going to correct it one by one uh, like uh, chart dot min dot js where it is uh, chart.min.js uh, it's not found uh, we are going to see where it's not found okay chart.min.js we can search it uh, chart.min.js see here it is inside layout okay uh, see here okay so this is the issue uh, so we need to correct uh, we can uh, check in our here in template that what is the correct path charges charges here we are going to see uh, charges okay charges okay means double times it is charges slash chart dot min dot js okay i don't know okay let's do it like this okay and other than this we're going to refresh here uh, we will check in network once again and see we can see the many files inside dashboard are still need to correct okay so we will correct all one by one here uh, we're going to search img Okay, so here uh, the path is set. Then images, uh, sorry, admin. Then images. Then this one, and now we are going to correct it for all PNG and JPG files as well. And we are going to search dot JPG. We do search for dot JPG here. Dot JPG. so we are going to check once uh, so many paths have been updated you can see and few are left we can see dashboard 2.js we are going to search for this one dashboard 2.js where it is dashboard 2.js here it is in layout okay uh, so here okay so we are going to correct it as well url and then admin uh, 
so we need to check once uh, in template uh, js it is inside the js pages okay fine now it must work fine if we can refresh now only two files are left uh, this one we are going to search for this one let's see here it is it's a dashboard and uh, this one we have already collected this one admin images and at any other place maybe it is uh, yeah here also so same file here you can see it's exactly same user 2 160 160 uh, okay so what we can do here we can copy this one and we can paste it here okay and also the same file is used here okay that is uh, from cache you can see this is are the cache files you just require to update for first two and let's save it and now we're going to check again just one is left logo of the admin lte okay i'm going to refresh uh, once again and we'll see it where it is and here it is okay so we are going to correct this one as well admin images admin lte uh, admin images admin lte png see it seems to be fine we are going to check here uh, um, to search see it seems to be fine here I think some other location I'm going to copy this one uh, admin images admin LTE logo and here also admin LTE logo uh, here the path is incorrect okay so here we are going to update uh, so this time the logo is admin LTE okay I'm going to do manually okay so now it must be correct let's see now all are done there is no issue at all you can see all the issues are gone away there is no error clear okay so you can see the complete dashboard is visible now okay you can able to search that we can able to assess the complete admin lte admin panel dashboard in our laravel structure laravel 10 website okay admin lte 3 and you can see how beautiful it is complete responsive we can check in responsive as well that we can able to uh, see it correctly in responsive as well and here you can see it seems to be perfect okay you can see it seems to be perfect and we can uh, do it like this as well okay so you can see it's fine in responsive as well and you can able to scroll all the features everything seems to be perfect okay so in the next video we will continue working on the admin panel and we will start working on the login page and after that we will uh, make that routes also uh, like we are going to protect our dashboard route okay all the admin route we are going to protect okay and we are going to add the basic features in our basic admin panel uh, that can be used for any of the website so once again i'm going to tell you that this admin panel we can use for any of the website like dating news e-commerce forum and all other laravel e uh, laravel website dynamic website okay so we are going to work on this one so that's all for now have a nice time Good.